Welcome to the Why Not Podcast with me, Chrissy Hawkins. In a world where everybody asks you why, I'm here to ask why not. So sit back and relax or walk and listen and join me on this journey as we try to answer this never-ending question. What makes people say why not? So we are hitting that part of February where all our new year new me are going to go so people who are gym regulars are like yay places are back um but you know if you are on the new year new me who pop in and out on the regular this episode is for you i have given about three or four tips for you if you are one of those people who constantly struggles with staying consistent and go for a bit come back for a bit all those things i hope you find this helpful Ah, so here's my episode on things to help you stay in the gym. (laughs) All the people who are gym regulars are like, no, don't do that. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to Why Not. So we have kind of hit the, we're kind of near the end of February now, which is really like the time when we get the kind of drop off of the new year, new me people. So they are those people who have joined the gym or maybe you are one of them and you do this every year and you start and you go back to the gym and you either do a few classes or you get a gym program and you go hell for letter and it is now towards the end of February, the February, end of February and you're just kind of like maybe you've not seen the results you thought you'd have by now or maybe you're getting bored of the program um, and you're just like meh. So, um, basically, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about how we can avoid this giving up situation, um, things we can do instead, um, things that maybe help you change your outlook on it, because I think as well, when people start, we have that all or nothing approach, and maybe something or other has come up that has maybe stopped you being able to be all and now you're kind of like oh what's the point or like you know you know the never miss a monday what happens if you miss the monday and you're just like is there any point going all week um so things like that that we can change that mentality hopefully and even just help you figure out how you maybe keep this up as opposed to giving up if that makes sense so the first one I wanted to talk to is, and this is something that I think I see a lot of people give up a lot of the time very quickly, is you're not reaching the goal as quick as you think you should. So if that is true, here is two things to think of. Um, one, maybe it's time to reassess your goal. Maybe your goal isn't attainable. Like a lot of us think we want to lose this amount of weight and this amount of time and if it doesn't happen we're a failure because you know that's what we're sold on the internet that this can happen um or we're sold in magazines um and maybe just maybe it might not suit you at all to have uh to for your body to be that weight let alone it be um happen in that short period of time so i think often first off we need to look at our goal is this goal attainable like if it, you're reaching for an old weight for instance could that have been when you're 18 and had no responsibilities and now you've got two kids and a job could it be a fact that you think you should because you heard it on the radio that you can lose this amount of this amount of time could it be a fact that maybe it's not healthy for your body to be this so this is going to be probably a little bit uncomfortable and you really won't want to do it but if that is something that's happened to you sit down and look at your goal do you think like realistically losing half a pound a week is really really good also if you're a woman you're and if you're a man as well your weight will fluctuate uh so have you been making sure you've been checking your weight at the same time maybe it's time to stop looking at your weight altogether because you might have been ignoring other things like how you're feeling or how you your clothes fit because the scale is moving also women time of the month you're gonna retain water you're gonna be heavier how if you could log to your the weights you've been taking at the same time under the same scenarios have you seen a steady decrease or has it stayed the same you know this doesn't necessarily mean that 
it's not working it might mean that you need to look at a different metric maybe your clothes being fitting better and you haven't even noticed that because you're too busy worrying that you haven't dropped any weight um maybe you're feeling better in yourself but again you're too busy worrying that you haven't dropped weight so let's look at the other ways that you can measure progress you might need to move away from weight now also again as i said you might be expecting too much too soon maybe you just need to readjust your goals and think okay right fine it's not exactly what i wanted but i have done this and if i keep going surely i should be this at this point um logically it should help and then also if you maybe potentially as i said had an unrealistic goal look at your life now look at your life the goal you're looking at or maybe even try and see where you can what like different things say that might impact your life so if you're looking at a say goal weight or as i said you're 18 you had no children you had this you need to kind of look into that um you know and be like okay this isn't realistic for me now my lifestyle doesn't like isn't conscious i need to sleep i need to look after the kids i need to do this that and the other could i potentially change that goal to be something that i feel is now attainable and i'll still feel good about myself so that is a really big thing that you can have to think about like you know you there's likelihood is you will never weigh the same you did as a teenager um, and that's a good thing because you shouldn't uh, but I think coming to terms with that accepting that can really help you continue with you know focusing on the health aspects as opposed to the weight loss aspects of of training and exercise and um, so that is like kind of my first tip I think that is really really good for people who may be struggling and may not be seeing the results they think or want or need uh they think they need you don't need anything um but uh first off go through them and as i said if it is a case of weighing yourself is giving you negative feelings all the time it might be time to track it a different way and just completely ditch the scales because if you feel bad when it goes up and great when it feels down or goes down that's probably not the best because you are going to fluctuate and unless you are actually tracking it and maybe graphing it where you can see there is a decline over time it's probably best maybe to stick away stick away from that um my second one is you might need to take a break and that was uh, in regards to you know the whole we're going hell for letters so there's only so long you can continue going like 100 miles an hour which is what a lot of people tend to do they want to go to every class they want to do this your body's not used to it um you're probably not like maybe you're on a very extreme diet now or something you've tried to try out everything and basically one of two things tend to happen is you'll either get injured or you'll burn out and either way if you you will end up off training or out of the loop and not doing what you have been doing if you do either of these so obviously if you injury you could be sidelined for god knows how long and it's very hard to train around as well it's not hard to train around injury it's very 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 easy but if you're not you new to training you probably won't have much experience by training around injuries and it'll kind of give you almost a reason to stop not that you like you're looking for one but there is a reason to stop and then if you're burned out you're just knackered everything hurts when you're training you don't feel like you're making any progress you're tired all the time and you just like fuck it what's the point and there again people stop training because of this now you might just need a break you might maybe maybe like i said you've gone hell for leather maybe you need to taper back your training maybe instead of five you should be in three a week maybe you should be getting out for an odd walk here or there maybe you should focus on eating more instead of eating less or even just trying to get more sleep there's all these other things that we can factor in instead of giving up and all these other factors will also affect your results and how you're able to train how you're able to perform so instead of giving up altogether maybe take a week off and again let's sit down and assess your goals and assess your training and see if it is working for you because you're tired and exhausted and not enjoying it and sore all the time and feel like you're going backwards that's an indication not that you're a failure and you can't do it but maybe you're doing too much and you need to maybe taper back or maybe you need to eat some more food maybe the fact that you have just been completely eating so much less is 
is not helping either like so again it'll be a little bit uncomfortable but you have to sit down and assess is it working for you if the answer is no that's fine that doesn't mean you stop that means you go okay maybe i will do these days a week i will set these days see how i feel after a couple of weeks if i feel great then maybe i'll add another one in if i feel still as bad maybe i'll take another one off and i will focus in a lighter thing like i said like a walk or something like that that you know that will be different look at your food are you eating enough yes it's all great if you're eating well but we don't want to be eating well at the expense of you actually like eating well does not mean not eating chocolate not eating you know this that and the other and no carbs and all that like that's all well and good but like are you eating enough calories you may need more calories you may need more protein in your diet as most of us don't eat enough protein as it is so i know it's really hard to do that all yourself so if you do need some help from someone do go reach out for them to them you know uh see if you can get it done freshly do not follow the likes of my fitness pal or any of those other ones that will give you a 1200 calorie goal yes it is enough for some people no it's not enough for most people and yes you will probably get really quick results if you go on them and no it will not <laughs> last forever because as soon as you start eating normally again you'll end up being so hungry you eat everything and you put it all back on so as i said try and aim for that half a pound or half a kilo uh, a week loss as opposed to five pounds in a week don't let the online calculations do that like and give you a 1200 calorie goal because it'll be hungry and miserable and you'll hate it so it's just instead of it being too hard and throwing it on sit down take some time and figure out how you can make this work for you and this also is the same thing for people who are maybe had all the great intentions and are feeling like they're wasting their time because they are not making all the sessions that they said they were going to do maybe you just need to reassess just like that you need to sit down and go okay i can't do four sessions a week but two sessions a week is better than the no sessions a week and um, if i don't get there on monday if i still go tuesday wednesday or I still go Thursday, Friday, or I still go whatever. I, I haven't failed. It's just different. My schedule doesn't work to go this frequently. So now let's look at it. Look at my week. This is a thing that people don't do as well. They don't look at their week and go, when do I have time to train? When does this work for me? You look at those days, you plan those days. So you go, okay, I know I've got time this day, this day, and this day. If you're the type of person who comes home from work and sits down and doesn't leave again, you bring your gym gear with you. It doesn't matter if it's on the train or the bus, you go straight to the gym on the way home or you have it in the boot of the car and then you go home after that. This is how you, if you keep trying to train in the morning it's not happening, go in the evening. See if you can go at lunchtime. Figure out when will work for you and work at those times. Don't don't plan for things that aren't working for you if you know you're not going to get up in the morning you're going to train in the evening if you know you're going to be too tired on friday don't schedule your session then if you know you've got something every wednesday or sometimes you get held up in work so you won't make that class don't plan to do them write down your schedule just like you schedule everything else and fit in realistic times you can train it doesn't have to be 10 times in a week it can be two it can be three that's all you need but if you are trying to do too much and it's not been happening and because of that you're finding it very hard to get motivated taper back see what you can fit into your life and go from there as opposed to trying doing trying to do so much more so there's three things that we have well kind of two and a half i suppose it's just one's the same thing but um on different elements of it so another one here is um i talked about you know doing that gym program or you know you get an introduction program at the gyms they get boring after a while you stop going or you start doing other things or floating from thing to thing and you know those gyms will do new ones if you are bored do them if you want if you don't know why an instructor is giving you certain exercises ask them like you get a very generic beginner program for everyone uh, a lot of the time they just bring you around the machines and leave you off you go because that's the easiest way to do it and then maybe avo advise you to do a few classes if you want 
more than that you are going to have to say that like you can't like if you have been to the gym you have more experience but you just don't know how to program say that to them ask for something a bit more like advanced say now i've been here a few weeks i want to do something a little bit different happy days boom they'll bring you a new one most gyms offer this service and a new sir a new one every time because it's kind of necessary to help people you know to improve and it keep them coming back you know if you have the same program you get bored you're going to stop doing it or you maybe you'll start googling and start trying other things but you don't really know what you're doing and i've seen a lot of people they kind of almost look nervous when they see you look at the end of the day we do the program we're paid to do the program you don't really care if you don't do it but if you want to come and learn something or have something new feel free to come and ask for a new one and that's what the gym instructors are there for they're bored a lot of the time especially in commercial gyms because they don't have jobs basically <laughs> so other oh, like they don't have gym based a lot of the time they're just doing admin and stuff like that so they're kind of happy to do a new program for you and like it's always great to see someone progress and want to change and do different things um on top of that if you are trying to look for something that's a little bit next level hiring a coach can really make a difference now look i know it's expensive and it's cost of living and stuff like that but a cost of living crisis there is not a cost of living there's always a cost of living but <laughs> If you are looking for something that can keep you accountable and keep you going, obviously getting the intros as you start in and doing a few classes can be really, really helpful and a really great way for you to get off the ground. But if you're at that point now where you're stagnating and you can't really seem to find a direction you want to go, or maybe like you know where you want to go, but you just don't know how to get there, this is where getting a coach and even like an online coach or and that can really help you because they can do your programming for you. That's already sorted for you. They're there to keep you accountable. So if, you know, you're having a bad week, you know, you can talk to them. They can kind of go, okay, great. So what can we change? You know, like that. If you're trying to do too much and it's not working for you, you can talk to them on how you can change, how you can bring that back and what we can do to make sure you're getting the most out of your training um they can look at your schedule too and say look you're not gonna get more than that you know we are all always obviously we're always full of the joys and have great intentions when we start a training program but you know this is sometimes the coach's job is to pull you back and be like okay that's great but you don't have time for it as i said they can help you if you have issues with eating not you know what i mean like making sure you're eating enough they can do specific like look for someone who specializes in what you're looking for they are there to help you um and guide you and look it can be really really great way of leveling up your training if you found you're one of those people who stops starts starts every january gives up by may not even may but you know what i mean starts every january gone by march back in for the summer and you've never really gotten the results that you wanted and you like you know you've gone in and out of classes and you've never really seen a huge difference or actually gotten to where you want to be maybe this is the next step that you need is having a coach who can program you pro give you a program for what you want progress the program so you're not feel like you're getting stagnant change things if it's not working for you and then as i said hold you accountable so you know like not every week is going to be perfect we always have great intentions of doing this that and the other every week and maybe we have it in our head maybe we have it written down but things don't go to plan things happen constantly that knock plans out of whack like you think you're going to get all this stuff done and it doesn't happen and then it becomes very easy for you to not try because well it didn't work last time so why would i bother and that's why as well if you have a coach you have a sounding board somebody can be like oh this went shit and you'd be like okay great so could you have controlled that like you know maybe it was a week that something unexpected that happened maybe you fell sick like these are things that happen that aren't your fault that you can't control and at least you can bounce it off your coach and they can be like yeah well fine but like you couldn't have done anything about that you know you were sick or they can also give you a kick up the arse and go I uh, look, the reason you didn't get your sessions on is because you decided to go on the piss Thursday and Friday and you were too knackered. You know, it goes both ways. Like, you can have nice coach, bad coach, you know, whatever way you need them to speak to you. And obviously, sometimes we do want that, like, bit of, you know, 
truth reality check i suppose like if you're pissing about like sometimes you need someone to go well look you would have done better if you hadn't have done this this and this all week like you know sometimes we have bad weeks sometimes things happen but sometimes it's our own fault and we're self-sabotaging so it's just it's just another thing to think about because as i said we do see a lot of people coming in january they get bored they disappear they come back just for summer they disappear they come back in september they disappear and if you if it is something like if fitness and stuff is important to you which it isn't for everyone but you know if your fitness and your health as opposed to body shape size weight and all this is important to you having someone there to fight help you uh in your corner be there to support you can really make a huge difference in comparison to trying to do it all your own and as i said they can be there for you when you don't feel like being there for yourself all these different things um so it is worth looking into and you know and that's not necessarily me like i'm not saying i'm the coach for you i'm just saying if you are looking to level up and you're having trouble maybe look into someone that you resonates with you you like their style you like how they talk you like their approach all those kind of things um and that could be anybody that you've been following on instagram it could be anyone you know it could be someone in the gym it literally there's so many coaches out there you will find someone if you do want them so i think with that i am going to let you guys go i hope you found this helpful and i hope if you are struggling a bit at the moment with your training this maybe reignites the fire i hate using the term motivation but like maybe it gives you a few things to i suppose change how you're thinking and maybe have a come to jesus moment <laughs> make you feel a little bit better about how things are going uh if you are looking for me you will find me on instagram chrissy h fitness and also i have a horse instagram and tiktok it's strong in the saddle underscore for instagram and tiktok is strong in the saddle so that's all for all things equestrian fitness and tiktok's a bit of fun on it too and if you do want to inquire about working with me you can find um, a contact form on www.chrissyhawkins.com um so i hope you enjoyed this I really do appreciate everybody who listens to this podcast. So if you please could help me with the algorithm and leave a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And even, you know, if you want to reach out and suggest topics for me, I'd be delighted to hear from you. Drop me a DM on Instagram or TikTok. And thanks again for listening.